Hey Care Bears, it's Haley here. Welcome back to another Raw High video on my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for daily Raw High videos. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys all of the chest locations that are outside of the maze in Wickery Cliffs. And um, I'm hoping these are all. Let me know if I missed any. Guys, I'm on vacation, so I'm sorry I'm a little bit behind on the videos. I'm trying my very best, but I want to go ahead and get into it. So, the first chest so from spawn which is actually right here so if i were to reset this is where i would spawn you need to go left from spawn and you need to go in this house right here this is the first chest and it's up here and you get 100 candy in the vampire's air item so now from this house which by the way don't confuse this house with the one that is by the wickery cliffs sign here i thought it was in here but this house is actually not even like decorated it's not here so um and the door doesn't even open so that's really weird too but yeah, so that is the house you need to go in. It looks just like the other one I just showed, but this door actually opens and it has also this chair here. So anyways, the next chest you need to go to is also from spawn. So say like I reset, this is where I would spawn. All you need to do is just turn around, go to the train station, and then go over this way to these like luggages and suitcases with the little ghosts. And you just walk past it, then turn left from this tree and here's this chest right here with one, two, three candy. And then now go back to the train and follow this train track. So this train track also has a chest right at the end. So let's go ahead, keep walking and walking. And right here, you just go through all this and bam, this is the next chest with 100 candy and the glowing pumpkin wand item. Now from this chest, all you need to do is go to spawn again so we're gonna go to spawn right here and then after this we are going to go through the wickery cliff sign and then you need to turn right right here go up here past this leaf pile and all these little floating candles and things and then go left this way then you gotta go under this like waterfall right here and then turn right right here and i like to go up this way and turn right again and then you're gonna walk on a bridge right here um and it has like a waterfall here and then after this jump up this rock right here all the way up here and here is the next chest right here in this like eyeball this is like a very huge uh like spooky face as you can see so in the left eye of this like spooky face in the mountain there is a chest with bat earrings so that is the next chest. Now from this chest, all we need to do is just go ahead, hop down from everything. I'm gonna hop down from like right here. Um, let's see where I end up. Um, and I end up lost in the woods. Oh my, okay, here we are actually. Okay, so from the entrance of the Blackwood Caverns, okay? So if you don't know where Blackwood Caverns is, that's the maze from here okay we can start from here to make it a little bit easier the wickery cliff sign near the uh spawn walk up here this is the next chest location by the way so you walk up here go towards the blackwood cavern like i was just at here it is right here for reference and we need to go left this way and through these floating candles and this is the next chest right here with this like summoning circle and inside of this you get 333 three, three candy so now the next chest we're gonna have to fly a little bit so we need to fly down to the blackwood manor so let's go ahead and fly this way up here through here and we've made it so now where you need to go from here is over this way um, to the left and there is a chest right by this tree right here. So let's go ahead and see what's inside of this chest and inside this chest is the spider friend item. And then after this chest, let's go ahead and go back to the front of Blackwood Manor so we can use it as a reference. It's not really even close to Blackwood Manor, but um, I, it's just a reference area. So you need to go right this way and just fly over the water until you see this little spike in the water here. And then right here is the next chest. And this chest 
gives you the bat top hat item. So that is the next chest. And also be careful here because sometimes the monster comes here. Like it chases you. But anyways, the very final chest is also um, a reference from Blackwood Manor. And you need to go left from Blackwood Manor in the sky. It's really hard to see when the sky looks like this. So I'm going to wait until it's raining or it gets cloudy in the sky. Because there is a platform that shows up with a chest on it. So I want to show that one um, when it's easier to see. Because it's just really hard to see when the sky is dark like this. So I'll be back once it's not dark anymore. Okay, so it's now raining. So from Blackwood Manor... You can see a little black speck to the left of it right here where I'm circling. It's very tiny, but let's go ahead and fly up this way. And um, there is a chest that gives a lot of candy. So make sure not to miss this chest. I'm very sorry if you don't have the fly speed game pass because it will take really long to fly to it, but it is worth it. It gives over a thousand candy. So anyways, let's go ahead, keep on flying. It does take a little while, so I'm sorry about that, but let's go ahead and we are here now. And this chest is really goofy. Um, it is under the platform instead of on top of it like last year. So, um, this chest made me really mad. Uh, I thought it was really stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the chest. And, uh, it gives 1337 candy, which is also just very, very silly. So, anyways, those are all of the chests, I believe, in Wicked Cliffs for 2023. Um, obviously excluding the maze chests, which I'm going to have a video on that very soon. And also, I'm having a video later today of how and i also have a video that came out today of how to beat the maze without the fly fast game pass so go ahead and go check out that video if you'd like and yeah so i hope this video helped you out and i will have a full maze guide very soon like for all the chests i'm planning to have that out maybe the next day or the day after that really hoping to so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for daily roll high videos and i will see you guys tomorrow bye care bears